Hi everybody, Dave Gall with Remax Team Golf, joining what uh, may be a very familiar face. Uh, I'm here at the Hamilton North Chamber of Commerce, and I'm joined by Jane Hunter, who is the Executive Director of the, uh, the Chamber. Jane's good to see you today. Thanks, Dave. You betcha. Thanks well, for letting me fill in for a council. <laughs> oh, well, thanks for thanks for making me feel bad about that. Huh? I was going to get around to you eventually, yeah, anyway. I, I so we, we see each other enough as it is for those who know what I'm talking about. Uh, <laughs> but no, I wanted. I thought it might be good for uh, as as uh, I've informed uh, you know, people watch the videos. The, my goal is to uh, go around Hamilton North, especially Noblesville North, and sit down with businesses and, and what better uh, business than a, a non for profit that helps promote businesses uh, in the area. So I guess my goal here would be. I know a lot about the chamber from my experience, but as an executive director, what would you tell someone that may not know exactly what a chamber of commerce is or what Hampton North Chamber of Commerce can help them accomplish? Okay. Well, uh, generally, a chamber of commerce is a group of businesses in an area that get together to try to help each other out, basically. And you put me on the spot, but I think I can remember our mission statement is something along the lines of providing opportunities for our members to enhance their business. Absolutely. I, th I think you quoted it verbatim. Good. Um, then what that means is that we just try to give opportunities for the local businesses to get together, talk to each other, meet each other, know what each other is doing and what their each individual business's goals are. And there is a lot of people who like to see each other succeed because they recognize if that business succeeds, that makes our community stronger, which makes my business more likely to succeed, too. So there's a lot of people helping each other out there. The uh, most obvious way that we do that and we get people together is through our monthly meetings. We have uh, a membership meeting each month. It's generally a luncheon. We throw in a breakfast every now and then. We have some additional meetings after hours, which we call a live after five because we're such party and folks up here. <laughs> Um, and then, then we also have other events that sometimes we do them with other chambers, which is good, like joint networking breakfast or luncheons or so on. Um, but each of those, let, let's go back to the luncheon, because it's kind of the uh, mainstay, I guess, of what the chamber does. We get together, one of our members uh, caters the luncheon, so we give our business back to chamber members. Uh, we have a speaker come in. Generally, those topics um, at our luncheons are on business-related topics. Um, how to put together a marketing plan, how to use social media to enhance your businesses, uh, those types of things. But every now and then, we throw in something different. Um, this last one we had was um, focusing on wellness in general. We had a local chiropractor come in, talk to us about wellness for the new year, a lot of good simple ideas that help you in your personal life, which then of course helps you in your business life. So uh, next awesome. week, uh, or next month in February, we're going to go up to the Hamilton Heights High School and the uh, Hamilton Heights Primary School principal and the literacy coach is going to talk to us about uh, the effects of poverty on literacy and um, what the community, community can do about it. So it's a good way of interacting with the school system too. In the community, strengthening our community. Well, over again. and obviously the kind of the goal of that, we have a scholarship program, and mm -hmm. is hoping that when these kids graduate and go off to college and graduate from college, uh, maybe they'll come back here, come back here. And, and do some business because obviously the, the better off the community is, the better off we all are. Mm -hmm. And some other uh, uh, names that uh, people may know that uh, are watching the blog: uh, Peter Dunn, uh, Pete the Planner, uh, Van Green uh, was a Green Candy. Um, it was a guest speaker, a CEO of Riverview Hospital, has spoken before. We've, we've had some uh, uh, some well-recognized... We had the uh, lieutenant governor come in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Becky Skillman, that's right. Skillman came in. She was here a while back. So it's definitely, uh, it can be educational as well as an opportunity to enhance your business. I, and, and I've said this before, um, that you can look at a chamber of commerce as a, a networking opportunity. In, in, in my opinion, that's what it is because I, for me, it's been very rewarding. Uh, not only have I made some great friends, but I, I, it's helped my business. The majority of my business in the past six, seven years has uh, 
come from the chamber, whether it be directly or a referral right. uh, from somebody. And so, yeah, it's been it's been wonderful. That's one of the main reasons why a lot of businesses do join, so they can network. Um, that there are plenty of other you know reasons to join. Absolutely. And, you know, we've always said too. You know, our membership dues are really reasonable. Um, when I talk to a business about joining. They might be him on or I might not get to make, make to the meetings or, you know, they've got a limited amount of budget sure. for marketing. And I said, I always tell them, tell them what their membership dues are going to be. For small business, it's usually $95 a year. And if you go to one, mem one membership meeting and you make one contact and you make one sale, you probably pay for your membership dues for the, for the year. Absolutely. And, and you get what you, you put into it. If, if you get involved whether it's attending all the luncheons or whether it's getting uh, joining a committee. We've got committee opportunities. and uh, You can be as busy and as involved as you want to be, or you can be somewhat, yeah. and, you know, we, we have some members that sign up and, and don't come at all and because, because they just want to support the local chamber. Right. Or, they, so. or they can't, you know, get away during the day or, or for whatever. And, and we have some that truly will not get any more business because they've joined the chamber. Sure. But they do want to support the community that they live in, where their employees live, um, you know, where they're they're physically located, mm -hmm. and so we appreciate their support. And also, I'll put a plug in for our corporate sponsors. Please do. It's free. It's free. That's, yeah. <laughs> and unless something happens. Right. We do have great corporate sponsors. They pay a little bit extra, of course, each year um, to be a corporate sponsor, and we try to treat this corporate sponsors well because we do we do appreciate them. And I'm not even going to try to mention them because. Being on the spot like oh. that, I'll oh, so, that, so that's, that's your cop out. You just get a, yeah. a broad, broad all our corporate sponsors, sponsors we like to thank. You know who you are. <laughs> uh, but what they, what they do, and, and this is why you know, we just discussed this in a membership, membership services committee meeting. Um, we want our members to recognize our corporate sponsors too, because without those corporate sponsors um, providing the extra financial support to the chamber, then we couldn't keep those uh, membership dues as, as reasonable as we do. Yeah, so absolutely. those larger companies helping us that way make it possible for our smaller companies to, to join the chamber and, and to, to be involved in that way. So, And a lot of people may be familiar with you know the Fisher's Chamber, Noblesville Chamber, Carmel Westville, uh, which they're, they're larger chambers. The, the uh, benefit to ours, it, not only do we have a uh, a good sized chain or a membership, but yet it's uh, it's big enough to make it worth your investment, and it's small enough where you're able to make relationships okay. and uh, and take it to the next level. That's one thing about some of these other chambers. It's difficult because there's so many people, just so many. It's a little. I've gone and it's, it's, it can be a little overwhelming at right. times. Like where do I sit? But uh, well, for somebody who might have a question uh, regarding membership, uh, obviously they can call in to you or check the uh, the website. What, what's our website way? is very simple. It's HamiltonNorthChamber.com, and our phone number is 984-4079. And you can reach me directly at Jane at HamiltonNorthChamber.com. Terrific. It's it's a big long Hamilton. But once you number. once you enter it and just type Jane Hunter, you're you're done. Yeah. You don't have to worry about it ever again. Any abbreviations or periods or. Well, Jane, thank you for taking time and, and giving us a, a brief uh, description as to the, I don't know how brief it was, but into the, uh, the Chamber of Commerce here in Hamilton North. And uh, appreciate you volunteering the uh, information. So if they want to learn more, call Jane Hunter here at the uh, Chamber office and she'll be happy to, to help you out. I will. So, well, thanks again for tuning in to Remax Team Golf Video Blog and look forward to bringing you something here uh, new in the very near future. Take care and we'll talk to you again soon.